Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a regex tutorial on free code camp, restrict possible usernames. So for this challenge, we're going to apply what we learned so far about regex to solve this coding problem. And this will really challenge your problem solving skills and logic to be able to handle these problems. And sometimes you have to look it up if you forgot how to do certain regex to solve this problem. Okay, so for this exercise is about usernames and we wanna check if these username is in the database and we have requirements here. And then we can see here that it tests different examples for your code. So we have to write a regex to solve this problem. So usernames can only be alphanumeric characters. Okay, that's fine for now. So the only numbers in the username have to be at the end. There can be zero or more of them at the end. So usernames cannot start with the number. Okay, so this implies that it has to begin with the letter. So we do caret and bracket any letter from A to Z. Great. And now we learn that there can be zero or more digits at the end. So we do slash D for the digits and then star for zero or more and then we use the dollar sign for end. Great. So usernames letters can be low or and uppercase. So we're gonna put I here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I is gonna ignore the lowercase or uppercase. And now here's the tricky one. Users names have to be at least two characters long. A two character username can only use alpha that letters as characters. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down with an example. So we can have a two username, two characters long username, AA. And let me write this in comments. Okay, so we can have this AA and then we can have it more than AA we can have like ABA three, but then if it's two letters long, we have two letters, we need an or if it's a case, if it's a letter, number, and then another number like that. So th these are the two different types of cases that we have to deal with. So here we're having a letter, we can do this case first. So we need another letter, at least one or more. So a bracket A to Z, and then we do the plus sign. And then we have zero more numbers at the end. So, because it could be A, B, A without the three. And now we need an or after the dollar sign. And let's look at the other case. So we need, it begins, always begins with A to Z. And now we look at a number. So it has to have at least one number and then another zero or more numbers. So, oh, one or more numbers because it has to have at least three total. So we need slash D and then plus, and then we can end it with the dollar sign. And that'll be all for this one. Oops, we're making one mistake. Thank you so much.